Good morning! Do, 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 do. Yeah! Hey guys, today we're doing a realistic day in the life of a junior year in high school student. Today we're doing a school vlog. Um, I'm excited. Not. I'm actually running really late. It's actually 8. I was supposed to be out of the house 10 minutes ago. So we're gonna go. <laughs> I got ready. I don't know if I'm keeping these bows on my hijab because, girl, is it giving Pinterest cutie patootie or is it giving, oh, someone let a five year old into the, into the crafts bin? Right. Laptop and iPad are in here. Put that little baby in there. Calculator and wet wipes because the desks in university are kind of gross. <laughs> I got myself some Barbie tissues. Life in the dream, how? Yes! Aug 4, so I don't have chapped lips. This is my little beauty pouch. In here, I carry lotion, hand sanitizer that's out, so why do I even have that? Lip gloss, lip liners, more Aqua 4, and a Gardenia scented perfume. Do you want to know who smells like Gardenia? Aaron Warner. <laughs> I'm severely ill. Like, I'm so Anyways, that's inside my backpack. Zip, 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 zip. Let's go. currently 8 25 i should have left 25 minutes ago um, here, here. we're gonna go to school now and i will see you guys when i am there Guys, that breakfast sandwich I ate was so good. I'm, I'm talking about the type of good that you like fantasize about. The type of good that you're in class and you're dreaming about. The type of good that you go home and you try to recreate it again, but you never get it right. Like that was so good. It was like so creamy because of the avocado and there was like some garlic cheese on it and there was an egg and it was like slightly spicy because of the pepper flakes. Oh my God, that was so good. I should have like, I was like scraping the foil like a starved woman. I should have, I really should have savored it more! <coughs> Why did I not look at this outfit before I left? I need to do a voiceover for this next segment, but basically I got luck of how big my bun looked like. So girl, I was trying my hardest, squeezing it to make it smaller. Cause girl, it looks like a dinosaur is living in the back of my head. Individually. And you can kind of think and have a look at how wide are these things? Because they, at least one of our groups is different from the others. Left to right, divide, the fly. And then there's these at the bottom. Well, all the pieces you need to go. What I mean, so again, remember, for all of these are equal versus I work at the table to get this F around you. Let us know if you have questions. horrifying. Oh my god. Currently 12.28 and I just finished my two and only classes of the day. They went so well. In my first class, my friend wasn't there, so I was by myself. 
And so I sat all the way in the back. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be alone. I'm gonna sit here, I can film, I can be studious. No, a giant horde of guys came and sat right next to me. <laughs> Whoa. To make matters worse, one of them was ripping butt the entire, <laughs> That's an hour long class. Every five minutes, the nastiest stench wave would hit me. I couldn't breathe. It was like, it's like, it's like, it's toxin, bro. Like, I think I lost half of my lung capacity just sitting there. So bad. I couldn't even focus because it was so stinky. Next class comes around. It's another hour long class, hour long, 15 minutes. And my friend was in this class, but it turns out that we have to sit in assigned spots because we have an exam next class. So we have to sit in assigned spots for this class to make sure we know where we're sitting. All right. The guy that I was sitting next to in my science. <laughs> First of all, he reeked. <laughs> please, babe, use deodorant. I'll buy it for you, please. On top of that, he, I had my iPad out to take notes. So shamelessly, he would literally just sit and like look at my iPad the second I would underline something, he would go and underline the same thing. The second I would take note, he would look at it, take note of the exact same thing. I would sit up and like cross my legs. Two seconds later, he would sit and cross his legs. I would like uncross my legs and like stretch him out. He would uncross his legs and stretch him out. And then the whole, every single 10 minutes, he would yawn. And it wasn't like a normal, oh, it was like a violently shake. <laughs> like my desk was vibrating because he kept shaking so much. And he was yawning so and then he would like burp too today was not my day it was not my day anyways now i'm in the library and i'm gonna eat i booked a little study room yeah yeah this is so cute it's like so like i'm holding you and we're twirling in the distance okay girl shut up i'm in the study room uh, i'm gonna have lunch so let me show you guys what i have i really need to get like a better lunch box okay <laughs> Sustainability, okay. I'm saving the planet one reusable bag at a time. Whatever. Chicken sandwich, a crepe, and some smushed up cookies. I'm gonna find something to watch first. Very much iPad kit through and through. I have to watch something while I eat. So. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so hot! Uh, blast the AC! Ah! Oh my god, my birthmark's acting up. Oh! Let's go get a treat. A treat for what, Amina? You literally did not. A treat for putting up with those guys' farts! We look so crazy to anyone. Medium Baja Blast, please. You okay, Got anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You too. been a while since I last filmed so let me give you guys a little rundown of where I've been came home and I prayed and then it was like 3 40 I had to go pick up my little sister from school so I went I picked her up and then I came home and I prayed because we have two like afternoon prayers like early afternoon prayer called the hood and like late afternoon prayer called Asa so I prayed both of those um 
And then after I brought my sister, I was so exhausted. So I like was scrolling on TikTok for a good two, three hours. <laughs> and now we're here. <laughs> Fun. And now I made myself some dinner. And I was like, oh my God, we could do a cute little like dinner mukbang, like chit chat. Stop, like that's so girly and cute. Okay, I have a little Coke. She's not, guys, my new obsession. We have to talk about obsessions lately. Like new month, new obsessions. But one of my obsessions that has bled through from last month like i was obsessed with this in august and now it's september and i'm still obsessed with it is cherry coke cherry coke mm -mm -mm. anyways this is not cherry coke though this is just normal coke but i just thought i would bring up that i was obsessed with cherry anyways yum oh, stop. oh let's do a bite oh my god i'm so excited i've stopped eating ramen because it was really bad for me and i think i might have kidney issues everyone please pray for me <laughs> i'm not joking so i like stopped eating this to like health grind so i eat it very rarely now like my little treat mm. Mm. oh my god sometimes whenever you make bulldog ramen it's like a hit or miss like sometimes it's really good and the sauce is really good and sometimes it's like too watery and sometimes it's like not enough spice <gasps> but i made this one oh god <gasps> stop so those guys that i mentioned earlier there's more to the story so in my first class when i was sat seated next to these guys that were ripping butt the whole time like it was actually disgusting like i was there for an hour and 15 minutes in that class every five minutes the nastiest nuclear bomb of booty juices came into my nose it was disgusting i was that that was disgusting like have some decorum if you have bowel issues <coughs> if you have bowel issues go to the bathroom why do i have to deal with it, it was nasty like ugh. are you a middle school boy ew for obviously like the silent farts too and they were disgusting and deadly like ugh. he probably thought like he was safe like no my nose was assaulted that entire hour and 15 minutes but besides that these guys were just like so gross like after class had ended they were like they got up like packing their bags yada 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 and they were like turning to their friends and they started talking about girls mind you for anyone who doesn't know i'm a junior in college i'm 20. these other boys are most definitely 20 maybe a year older maybe a year younger it really depends on when your birthday is but moral of the story is you guys are 20 you were third years in universities right these boys started talking about girls but the way they were talking about them was so like disgusting and like objectifying like it was gross i'm not an eavesdropper but they were just speaking so loud like if i could hear you so could everyone else i mean mind you like everyone's packing up like obviously you're free to talk but like still if you're gonna be gross and have weird conversations like have some shame basically they were talking about like girls um i don't know i don't really know the depths of their conversation but they were just like, these girls are so A-word, like none of them are fire, like none of these girls are good enough to hit, well, like disgusting conversations. Like they were just really like talking about women so oddly. Have you ever guys seen like a movie of like frat bros in either show or like an American movie? They're 100% exactly like the movies, like the way they talk to literally all sound like, yo dude, what's up? no cry is derek coming tonight like they all sound like that like if you watched a movie spot on with the representation for the frat guys going on and it was just like ew ew like you're a grown man yet you're acting like a 13 year old boy like oh my god chelsea doesn't look good that's literally but it was like so gross too because obviously they're grown so they're using like crude language it was just like major major ew and I totally understand if, like, a girl isn't your type and you want to express that to your friends. Like, oh, yeah, this girl I'm talking to or I'm about to talk to just isn't my type in terms of, like, physical appearance or whatever. I get that. Everyone has types. But the language they were using, like, they were so crude and vile. Like, it was, like, very, like, stereotypical, gross, like, boys locker room talk. <laughs> You would think that, like, in high school, like, these boys would mature, but, like, no, girl. No. They're the exact same. So, anyways, that happened, and 
I was just like, ugh. And then in that other class, that guy that was just like copying, my, I posted on my Instagram story. I was like, guys, I cannot believe for two hours because it was an hour, 15 minute long class, an hour, 15 minute long class back to back. So I was like, I cannot believe for two hours I was stuck in between guys that wouldn't stop farting, burping, and copying my notes. And people were like, I mean, I like for the copying notes part, they were like, you know, you can just say no. <gasps> Girl, you think I didn't, you think I don't know that? You think I would just let people like take my notes and copy them? No. This guy was just like, no shame like if you're gonna copy someone like girl be subtle about it like little eye glare no this guy was like full on like all up in my space like trying to read my notes and then he would like burp really loud like ugh i can't i couldn't like it was literally just two hours of torture like where are my girls like ugh, i don't want to sit next to men anymore ew but besides that i have an exam on tuesday like a really big exam I'm like not excited but i'm like okay it's tuesday so i'm gonna make a really proper study plan and actually like sit down and be the studious mysterious girl i was always meant to be like i'm gonna go to the library i'm gonna do a little study aesthetic i'm gonna get myself a little starbucks drink maybe i'm gonna put on a cute outfit and i'm gonna sit and i'm gonna be studious i'm gonna ace that exam yes i am editing this on a thursday night so i already took the exam and just to let everyone know all that studying paid off because i only got three wrong yay Alhamdulillah, I was so happy. Yeah! Roman, <sighs> so good. Alhamdulillah. I still can't believe like I'm a junior in college, guys. Sometimes it's like so surreal almost. Just look back. You know, have you guys' parents ever been like, they tell you stories of when they were kids and they'll sit back and be like, wow, like I was five, like that literally felt like yesterday. And you were like, huh, like, uh, -uh. But now that like I'm kind of at that age and I'm 20, and like I look back and I was like, oh my god, like three years ago I was like freshly turned 18 in college. Like that literally felt like yesterday. But girl, that was like two, three years ago. And it literally felt like yesterday. Like when I think back to my high school days, like when I was a freshman in high school, that literally felt like yesterday. But it was like, no, five years ago. I am, girl. Now that I'm like entering the last like years of my college because you know finish up junior year and then senior year i'm like really trying to take things slow in the sense of i feel like beforehand it was like next 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 like when am i gonna graduate when am i gonna graduate but now i'm like graduation is right here and like obviously i'm ready to graduate like girl get me out of here i do not want to do another assignment for the rest of my life but at the same time there's so much joy and love in school and in, in seeing friends and in it, like I don't know how to express it. I feel like I'm, I'm just trying to be more grateful for these like last two years that I'll have inshallah if that kind of makes sense. I feel like this kind of goes back to the whole like parent talk like whenever I see my parents or generally like anyone who's older and they like reminisce on their like college days or high school days and it doesn't even necessarily have to be like good like I didn't have the best high school experience but still you reminisce in a sense of like, wow, like I was a kid once. So I'm gonna be like, wow, I was a college student once. Like I stressed in exams and I don't know, there's so much, there's so much beauty in it. So I'm really trying to like see the beauty in everything and take it day by day and be like, these two years are gonna be tough, especially cause they're my last two years. But like, I'm gonna be out of here. And when I'm out of here, I will never be back in the sense of like, girl, I'm not gonna go back to college. <laughs> I'm done. I get, I'm getting that degree and running. There's just so much beauty in it. So I'm really trying to embrace it. You know what I mean? Well, anyways, school has been school. That was that. I really, guys, I really need to get another outfit. Like the way that in every other, not every other, every video period, I am wearing this. If I ever become a star and come out with merch, it's just gonna be this. Like, I wear this in every single video. Like, oh my god. But that was my day. I'm definitely gonna clean my bed, take a shower, and head to bed. Do I have homework? Yeah. But that sounds like a problem for another day. <laughs> Everyone let me know what you guys are reading right now. I'm currently reading the Serial Killer X Serial Killer Romance. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> Imagine any normal person's like, oh, <laughs> oh, right, serial killer, X serial killer. <laughs> Before anyone attack, it's like they're like good serial killers because they serial kill bad people. Right, anyways, I'm going to bed. 
Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, God. Yeah.